something went wrong with the record recording software and it just stopped it a recording on its own all right let's continue this tutorial in order to give it more textures we are using a brush just a normal brush it's uh, the normal round brush with a square tip uh, it gives uh, such an a rough effect in a pen tool side we're gonna use this brush and give uh, our object some rough strokes vertically like this something from here you just play with the with the strokes till you get a satisfying effect on your object there is not a, a specific rule or method on how to do this it's just personal feeling depending on experience and how you learn it to to paint and render your stuff All right, guess we are done with the basic shapes and shading. Now we move on to details. We go back to our basic square brush and we are going to add some uh, cracks uh, ar around the surface. But uh, we can also add more uh texture here by using another brush here the i guess this is the the air brush and we choose uh this effect you can play with effects till you get the the one you need no not that one and noise yes noise but we gonna lower the density and apply it around here as you can see it starts having uh, how to say it a rocky surface material all right back to our basic round brush we pick a darker color and start adding some scratches and cracks around the object keep in mind that uh, you always can use real reference to see how uh, cracks appears in objects there is no problem with using references just adding cracks randomly using a darker color here most cases detailing is the most boring phase for the viewers I mean because I enjoy uh, details because it doesn't involve that much thinking because the the hard part is the concepts once you get a clear idea about what you want to draw how to draw it the rest is just a matter of experience if you are use it to draw a certain subject you won't have any hard time 
throwing it or patching it over and over. Alright, I believe this is enough cracks. Now, even those details need to have a 3D form uh, using the main light source. We choose lighter color, even white if you want, and always keep in the same brush and keep it in mind where Sorry for my English, it's hard for me. I was originally planning to make this, that this uh, tutorial in German, but here we go, we are using English. Alright, back to the tutorial and back to our uh, rendering. Alright, we can try more stuff like uh, a big crack here. make this thing more like a real thing from real life the light is coming from here it's gonna hit here all right as said before the light is directly hitting this uh, spot here while the other one is facing Alma in the opposite direction. We use our water tool again to blind the color and we pick this color here to uh, 
to add more lights in the bottom because uh, it has uh, this form here and light coming from here gonna hit mostly this surface not this this one is facing here and this is facing up all right hope I hope that that was clear enough for you guys but our water tool and blending it adds some extra scratches and 3d uh, shape something like this water tool blend it blend it blend it now back to details to use white or bright color and apply it to the edges to give uh, a feel that those edges are kind of sharp and a darker one for more details and perks as you can see details add more realism to the piece and same way as before we have to apply uh, the light to the details too also highlights big bright color and add light to the edges of the cracks well I guess that's enough for details let's uh, remove the canvas block and uh, add our uh, iron how, how do we call it iron parts iron pieces that are used in buildings It's very important to check to, to look for references from real life and to have a common knowledge in uh, engineering and in machinery in order to give your painting a believable look when a person take a look at your painting and the object you are painting uh, it becomes the feeling that this machine or this building or this uh, object actually work works because it has uh, parts uh, buttons how, how do you, because it has elements from real life that make it uh, a function an object like the ones in, uh, we see every day in our life all right uh, now we are done with the iron parts and as mentioned before the light is coming from here so we need a cast shadow here yeah. something like that Now our piece looks like a real object and we are not yet done we can we always can add more details like a piece of beton here 
that get stuck that got stuck here to one of these uh, iron blocks details something like that and we can add small parts on the ground remaining from the time when this thing got destructed don't forget we work on them the same way we work it on this guy here always respecting the direction of the light source and we can add details here as well why not some cracks some highlights edges here as well and here let's blur this and of course we need a shadow Wait. and this thing needs a shadow here as well and the source light we need to have a shadow like this pick the ground color to make it darker and fill the space here Alright, I guess that's all for today's tutorial. I hope uh, it was helpful and that my English was clear enough for you guys to understand uh, this uh, tutorial. And once again, I thank you for your interest in my latest drawing and till next time